Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number SP1034. This is a brass sleeve only is what it is. This is a component from their master list of bolts and different piece parts used in mounting their different types of hardware. This is nothing other than a brass sleeve that is drilled and tapped on both ends for 832 screws. Now, where would you use this? Well, um, its dimensional properties are not by accident because you would use this in instances where you want to very uh, cleverly through bolt something through a door. And the dimensional properties are as follows. The diameter is 0 0.252, 0 0.252. The overall length is 1.625, so exactly inch and 5 eighths. And that would be a really ideal length when you are installing, uh, you know, it could be an inch and 11 sixteenths or 1.72. That might be better. Um, but when you're going to through bolt something uh, and you're going to run machine screws into both sides of it rather than wood screws. So you might have a door. Um, imagine that you were going to install push and pull hardware onto a door and you were uh, wanting to through bolt from the push plate through the other side to that plate and then the pull handle is securely bolted to that one plate. Why you would through bolt that would be because you have a fire rated door or I should say one that has a mineral core where it has zero screw withdrawal strength. So you might want to secure it that way uh, rather than wood screws. Also you could uh, find probably a greater amount of security if you were to use a security type 832 screw like a pin torx or something like that when through bolting items together it might be more secure rather than having just a screw that could be unthreaded uh, easily and then that exterior plate removed and when you're through bolting it you might have a greater amount of security because now you've got to contend with the fact that it's tightened on the other side as well I don't know that it would ultimately stop someone from getting something off, but it may. And this video is just to show you what this looks like. Okay, um, We don't use these very often, but when you need to strategically through bolt something, I think you can do that with some success using this or this concept. Let's switch to the screen view now and take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at the photographs. And here they are. That's our sleeve. Machined, pardon me, tapped holes on either end. Uh, you will see an oval head sheet metal screw, uh, pardon me, an oval head machine screw. That would be the appropriate item to use. You could also then order this in different finishes. You can order the SP1034 with those same screws in a finish and it's also available as a standalone item. Now uh, probably what is of some assistance in this video would be the link to the Rockwood Mounting Kit Parts Master Table here and that will allow you to review all such bolts and components that I had just mentioned when it comes to securing uh, Rockwood hardware uh, to a door. Push plates, pole plates, things of that nature. These little blue lines here are links back to the product itself. Okay, SP107, the machine screw. We'll allow you to pull all those up right in our website. Okay, now let's take a look at the extended description information down below. Doesn't say anything really new at all. Okay, what we've already talked about. You can use it on wood or metal doors. Uh, it might be appropriate to, um, you know, consider it just to be something used when you don't have anything to screw into. The same concept might be if you've installed something into holes several times and now there's, you know, there's no wood left to screw to. You might have to through bolt it. So there you go. Um, the factory can also do, since we're talking about through bolting, the factory can also take a push and pull combination and braze to that brass plate posts like this. So on one side, you don't have any evidence at all of fasteners. And then on the opposite side, 
you'll take that machine screw and thread it through. Now that would be a very good way to provide a security sort of application when you don't want to have exposed fasteners. They can uh, allow you to truly through bolt it. So you don't have bolts on each side. You simply have this brazed um, threaded post uh, onto one part. Okay, so there you go. Now there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. When you click on that, you'll be able to pull up this page, which is the landing page uh, in our site. You'll be able to view everything in Rockwood's website here, their product catalog here, their, uh, their core product line, kick plates and things of that nature. Um, then their architectural door pull catalog is here, and if you're looking for countless variations of architectural door pulls, um, that would be 100 plus pages of idea book or picture book is really what it is. Okay? That mounting kit parts master table is also here as well. Let's wrap up this video on camera. While this video may not serve a tremendous amount of benefit, the fact of the matter is it does show you what this S1034 uh, is and what size it is so that it will help you better determine if you are able to solve your particular po problem with this brass, uh, threaded brass spacer. Any questions on the SP1034 or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.